Good evening and welcome to The Call. Coming to you live from Channel Television Studios in Abuja, Nigeria. My name is Gadria Ahmed. Today we'll be talking about nation building. 57 years after our independence from Britain, where are we as a country? Have the expectations of independence been met? Are we on the path to building a great country? Or is our journey derailing? We discuss these and many more questions on this independence edition of The Core. First, let's hear from some of those who were present in 1960. Nigeria will attain independence on October 1, 1960. Those who struggle for independence for Nigeria believe that if we can get our freedom, we'll be in a better position to shape the destiny of our country to reflect our wishes and aspirations. And this is the reason why we struggled hard and made a lot of sacrifices. Eventually, we got independence. Everybody was happy. When the princess uh, of Kent came and uh, handed over the flag of freedom to Nigerians, you can imagine the jubilation. Such a beautiful country in 1960, such a promising country in every respect. One of the most progressive of the uh, newly, of the, you know, newly emergent independent countries. October 1st, if you follow Nigeria's historical antecedent, means a reminder of our exit from colonial rule. Most importantly, from changing over from the independence we got after the Lancashire, Lancaster Conference in London to becoming a, what we call a federation. The federal military government in Nigeria. The military between 1966 and 1970. 1979 changed the face of Nigeria. They ruled Nigeria in a military way. No constitution. They destroyed the 1960 constitution. They destroyed the 1963 constitution. And the, and the regional constitutions. We developed political party system in the country where political parties have started to articulate programs for the development of the country. But with the military in Kashi, they banned all the political parties. Even during the Second Republic, when we made an attempt to continue with what our band of fathers started, they came back again. They destroyed. Now, virtually 99% of our politicians are new breed. They have no experience. And we are determined that the flame of freedom once alight shall not go out again in our continent. Not totally. But we have made some progress in many areas. But there are areas where our progress was not, uh, did not match our expectation. We are far from where we, we should be. Anyone who was alive in 1960, where we got independence, and who is still alive today, will be full of regrets. I'm full of disappointments. I would rather live here amongst my own people and carry my traditional title than an imported one. Not that we have not done very well. The infrastructure department in Nigeria, education is there. We have gone far. Today we have over 115 universities. Whereas in 1960, there, were, there was only one university. So education is the instrument for development. In judiciary, by the time of independence, most of the magistrates and the entire high court and Supreme Court judges 
were British or other foreigners. Mm -hmm. Today, from the lowest magistrate court to Supreme Court, are manned by Nigerians. Business before independence. All major business activities in Nigeria were in the hands of foreigners. Today, all Nigerian businesses are run by Nigerians. We want all Nigerians, wherever they are, to regard themselves as brothers and sisters. What we are asking for is not to pull away from Nigeria, because you can't divide the land. If there's going to be any division, a division means knowing your boundaries. As far as the fusion that made us a republic and a federation in Nigeria, boundaries might be there artificially on paper, but the various tribes that have existed thousands of years in the same location could not tell you where their boundaries are. The unity of Nigeria can only be maintained if we respect one another. We have regard for one another. We love one another. We are our brother's keeper. We should de-emphasize our religion and ethnicity. To discuss the state of our country 57 years after independence, I'm pleased to be joined by writer, politician, and former member of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Honorable Chude Ofodili. I'm never sure whether I'm pronouncing your name properly or not. <laughs> thank you. Welcome, and thank you for joining us. Um, sitting next to him is Malam Alimagashi an avionics engineer and also a consultant on aviation as well as finance. Sir, so thank you for joining us. To my far right, the only lady in the panel <laughs> apart from myself and uh, the person representing, if you like, the millennials on this panel, Mrs. Toyosi Akerele Okun Shuji. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us. Thank you for this um, invitation, and, Kudari. Yeah, and the final panelist is Reverend Laddie Thompson, who is a strategist and also um, a pastor and a regular commentator on national affairs. Thank you so much, sir, for coming.